Hey everyone, this is Saucy the Togo Chef. Well, today I'm going to make a New York style cheesecake. And it, I've made it once here on the boat already. It lasted, I think, four hours. Once they had it, <laughs> everybody has had it. Alright, so well, let's do this again. And I'm going to show you the ingredients first, and then I'll show you how to make it. Alright, so let's get this party started, New York style. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness are traits deeply ingrained in our country's DNA. For many of us who travel this glorious country of ours, we thrive as we engage with and witness its awesome bounty. Unfortunately, many of our brothers and sisters who've helped make all of this possible aren't thriving. Visit HeroSoapCompany.com and place your order using coupon code BADGE at checkout. Not only will you receive a discount, but you'll be helping Badge help our vets. I believe in the soap. I've tried it. It works awesome. And that's why I'm doing it. First things first, you make sure you have a spring form pan. I've already got the parchment paper down at the bottom. It helps uh, keep it from sticking so hard to the bottom there. Uh, spray the sides. Now, you mix your uh, two cups of uh, graham cracker crumbs, half cup of butter, melt it, of course and two tablespoons of sugar. Makes it really good. It's gonna be nice and moist. Now y'all, anybody that's made a New York style cheesecake knows this takes time. So, if this video's a little bit long, it's worth it to the end. Trust me on it. Make sure you get all those graham cr 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 crumbs mixed in together. I use a spatula because that butter is a little hot. How I do it, I pour the whole thing in the center. Now this is where the hand does come into effect. Start pressing down and toward the sides. darn thing that rattle in the boat you want it to come up on the sides at least halfway at, or as close to it as you can you see how it's doing that right there do this all the way around There we go, just like that. All right, let's all go over to the mixer, get the filling all uh, made up, and I'll see you over there. Be right back. Okay, the next thing you wanna do is get a cup of sour cream in a separate bowl. Get this all in there. A quarter cup of flour. and a tablespoon of vanilla. And whisk it all together. And that's the way it's supposed to look like. Okay, the next few steps, this is gonna be all done by hand. You're gonna need a wooden spoon and a whisk. The next step is you get your four cheese, uh, cream cheese in here your one and a half cup sugar. This takes about three to five minutes, but you're supposed to stir it in together with a wooden spoon until it's all incorporated. So I'm gonna get this started and then I'll come back to you when it's finished and show you what it looks like. But yeah, it takes a little work to get it done, but it will get done. So be right back. Hey, as you can see, it's nice and smooth. The 
if you have any lumps in it, this is the time to smooth it out. I forgot uh, one main uh, thing to tell you. In a New York style cheesecake, you need it really smooth. You do not need air bubbles in it. Hence the reason why I am not using the, uh, the, mix, the stand mixer over here because it will whisk in the uh, air bubbles. You don't try not to get air bubbles in it. Because you got to remember, New York style treats, cheesecake is really creamy and smooth. Alright, now the next step. Be right back. Let me get this clear. Okay, bring out your whisk. Put in the milk. And you only whisk it in until it's incorporated. Do not over whisk it because again, air bubbles. Okay, this is what it's supposed to look like. See how creamy that is? Alright, now, one at a time. Mix it in until each one's incorporated. Just slowly do it again. Low and slow makes better meals. Alright. See how it's incorporating? Just make sure that it's all incorporated before you add the next one. Four eggs. So I'll be right back after I get done whisking in. It's basically you're not whisking, you're stirring. Whisking is when you do it really fast. So yeah, just stir it in. Alright, be right back after I put in the fourth egg. We'll go to the next. See how creamy and smooth and how fluffy it already looks. Alright, next step. Put in your orange zest. Your lemon zest. And of course, your sour cream mixture. Oh, I still smell that sour cream and vanilla. That does smell good. Again, stir till it's all incorporated. Don't overmix it. Okay, that's about done. All right, let's go over to the spring form pan and show you what we do from there. On your spring form pan, you'll see these little notches from the clip. As you want to go right in between those notches because this is going to rise big time. Yes, there will be mixture left over most likely. Maybe not. That might be just perfect. Yep, just perfect. Smooth it out to the sides. If you notice, it's right in between the notches. Alright, we're going to be putting it in the oven uh, at 350 degrees. Uh, so, and then uh, we're going to be uh, putting it in the oven uh, so uh, approximately one hour. Then it's got to cool three to four hours. So, I'll show you what it looks like in an hour at, uh, when you're going to see it this high. Now, also too, if it shrinks, that's fine. That's what it's supposed to do. But it's going to be probably about this high, so you make sure you have room from your rack to the top of your oven. Because, like I said, it's going to raise to about this high. Alright, so let's come back, and I'll show you what I'm talking about after it's done. 
Okay, let's take a look at it. Perfect. Now, just to let you know, my oven uh, top uh, heating element is a little warmer, hence the reason for this right here. Normally you would not have this. You would cut it off the oven uh, right after it, it is done. You would turn it off and let it cool in the oven three to four hours and you won't have that cracking. So, all right, let's get it out. And then I'll, when it cools down a little bit, I'll take the pan off. So hold on, I'll be right back. Well, everyone, as you can tell, it looks great, doesn't it? Look at that. It looks fantastic. Can't cut into it for two or three, uh, no, three to four hours, because you gotta let it set. Um, I'll probably for the first hour till it cools down just a little bit more. Then I'll put it in the refrigerator for probably about two hours. That'll be about three hours, and that'll be perfect timing for lunch. Uh, I'm gonna make some strawberry um, in simple syrup, fresh strawberries in simple syrup, and then I'm going to um, just see if I have any other type of fruit topping and make that on the side too so people can have their choice. Alright people, you have a great and wonderful day. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you're new to my channel, click on that uh, subscribe button and if you want uh, to see more of my videos, click on that notification. Uh, also, hit that thumbs up. Leave a comment. I do like to uh, respond to my comments. You all have an awesome, awesome day. I'll see you either up the river, down the river, or down the road. Y'all have a good day. Bye-bye.